As the Red Sox pennant push heats up, we found a local ball player who back in the day was the Babe Ruth of a professional league, but it wasn't easy getting to bat. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has more in this week's Street Story. Back when Teddy Ballgame went off to war, a local woman did something that may never be done again. Two teams are working out, the Fort Wayne Daisies and the Racine Bells. Blossoming among those daisies was a left-handed power hitter who, before joining the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, broke a barrier as the first and only girl on East Greenwich High's team. Well, I said before. Back when Don Kachiri's dad recruited her to play. I didn't see it. Wilma Briggs had played hardball on boys' teams like the Frenchtown Farmers. I have to sit on the bench. But yeah. didn't like her lack of playing time in high school. I was going to quit, and, Co and Coach Kachiri said, don't quit, my goodness. She said, you know, 200 people come to these high school games. They're only coming because they want to see the girl play. <laughs> It's the long ball. Major League Baseball formed the Girls League after big league men left to serve in World War II. An All-American pastime. Briggs was a natural, and on the back of her baseball card, you can see she hit 25 long balls in 54. Take a few steps into her Wakefield home, and you know she was a pro in a front room filled with mementos, from pictures of her Hall of Fame managers Jimmy Fox and Max Carey, to the trophy from her Rhode Island Heritage Hall of Fame induction to a bobblehead with her number on the back. But her favorite memory involves a game with her parents in the stands. And with them there, I hit a home run. That was kind of exciting. Right after the league reduced the size of the hard ball down to the same one used in the majors, it folded with Briggsy at the top of her game. Were you sad when the league ended? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? I, yeah, I was just coming into my own. It was just, I grew up on a baseball, and now they're really playing with a real baseball. And now the league is over. I'm only 23 years old. At the end of her career, she was making about $100 a week. By sharp contrast, when she was helping out with the movie A League of Their Own, she was making about $90 a day in meal money. From Summit Avenue in Wakefield, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.